This training video deals with starting up your EC Series Analyzer and other basic functions. You may want to consult the EC Series Analyzer's user manual for further details. We will first review the Analyzer's keypad organization. The keypad is divided into four sections. The on and off switch. Use this button to power or shut down the Analyzer. The arrow keys and the enter buttons are used to navigate through menus. Press the enter key to trigger action in the Analyzer. The alphanumeric key section. Use these keys to enter information in the analyzer. They work similar to a cell phone keypad. You will have to press the same key several times to obtain the desired character. The shift key allows you to change the text format. When available, the selected text format will be displayed in the lower right corner of the screen. The escape key can be used as a backspace key when entering data, allowing you to delete the last entered character. In case the analyzer should become unresponsive, the escape key should be pressed as a first attempt to recover the unit. Finally, there are four function keys right below the screen. These keys are active on particular screens to trigger special functions. Switch on the analyzer by holding the on and off button for a few seconds. The analyzer screen will light up. You can see the Linux operating system driving the analyzer load up. The splash screen is then displayed indicating the type of EC series analyzer and the firmware version. This analyzer will go under an auto calibration procedure before displaying the main menu. The analyzer screen is divided into several sections. In the upper right corner is a battery gauge. The number of bars indicates how much power is left in the analyzer's battery pack. The lower number of bars the left reserve power. When the analyzer is down to 4 bars, you will not be able to perform any measurements. The next icon is a sound icon which indicates the volume of the alarms. The higher the number of bars, the higher the volume. The time and date are displayed as set up in the analyzer. Finally, the amount of memory space used in the mini SD card is displayed in the memory field. As less memory space is available, this field will look more and more filled up. On the bottom of the screen, there are four yellow boxes. These boxes indicate when a special function is available and are linked to the four F keys. When a special function is displayed in a yellow box, you will need to press the corresponding F key to access this function. The rest of the screen consists of the screen title on the black bar, and a contextual section which can be a simple menu as shown here, or a more elaborate layout as we will see in other videos. To navigate in the main menu, use the up and down arrow keys until the desired section is highlighted. Then press the enter key to access the selected section. Each section and subsections herein will be discussed in the other training videos. This concludes the training video on Analyzer Basics. You can power down the unit by holding down the on and off button. On the following screen, confirm power off by pressing the F2 key. The analyzer will go under the normal procedure to shut down. If you have further questions, please visit Global Energy Innovations website or contact us. Thank you.